Take the baseline out. Hey man, did you hear that they're making a new grunt figure? No flippin' way. Yeah, it's a, of Squiggles, dude. He's like, seriously, like, right over there. Hey guys, this is that Halo Reviewer, and I'm back to do a Halo 10th Anniversary Collection, um, Spec Ops Grunt, or Grunt Black Armor. This is, uh, the Create a Plaque figure. Yeah, it comes with the Legendary Skull. Uh, nice little open box, like all the other things. Has a picture of him in his black armor. I've never actually seen a Spec Ops Grunt in Halo 3 that I can remember. But who knows? Who knows? I might be wrong. Um, on the side it says Halo 3. Grunt Black. Um, shows other figures in the series, like the Arbiter, the Grunt, Cortana, Dutch, and Master Chief Halo Combat Evolved. It shows that he comes with a plasma grenade and a fuel rod cannon. So let's get this guy open and do the review. Okay, so I'm back and have the figure out of packaging, and, um, he looks awesome, but, um, as before, like, other Halo 3 grunts, their articulation is, you know, kinda scary to play with. Like, for instance, one complaint right off the bat, um, I think it's this, yeah, the right leg at the joint on his knee does not bend, it is fused. And I'll get into that more as I compare figures. Other than that, he can move pretty good. His arms can... Oh, yeah, I guess I oh, should go into articulation. Head can turn 360 degrees-ish. You can look up, kinda, and look down, kinda. And he can tilt his head side to side. Arms can go in and out, bend at the elbow ish and turn 360 degrees legs can bend at the knee and at the thigh and he has a little bit of feet articulation and uh some some waist articulation but not really overall he do, his mask does come off like halo 3 grunts and i like it i like the halo 3 grunts masks way better than the halo reach grunts he comes with a fuel rod cannon, but I knew right off the bat he would not be able to hold it. And I tried to get him to hold it, but I had some, uh, some, uh, stress in his fingers and I didn't want to snap them off. So I'm not even going to do anything with that. And he comes with a plasma grenade, which he can hold like that. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to have him holding this. I'm not going to have him holding his, uh, fuel rod cannon. Because I don't want his fingers to break. And finally, he comes with the legendary elite skull. Yay. I don't have anything else to put it with, though. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. I, I would personally paint it better. It's okay. I like it. It's awesome. But, um, yeah. Now I'll get into comparing figures. So this is... The Anniversary Spec Ops Grunt, and this is the Halo Reach Grunt Miner. There's an obvious difference in size, and here is the Series 6 Grunt Major. Yes. The Spec Ops Grunt is just a repaint of the Series 6 Grunt Major. Major. But, um, yeah. See? They look the same. And, uh, oh, oops. I had the same problem with this grunt. Oh, yeah, but it was up here. This is the same leg, but it's right here. I have the problem. Yeah. Anyway. I love this figure. I still love it because grunts are my favorite figures in the Halo series. And, um, yeah, I recommend it. Just don't expect to use it and, like, to play with it or anything because it will break. 
I guarantee that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching this review by That Halo Review. Rate, subscribe, and do all that cool stuff.